what is going on you guys happy saturday afternoon it's an afternoon part of the vlog here uh kathy has just uh dropped off uh some uh, some some shirts uh for one of her friends one is for her daughter and then two are for her friend and uh she's been really busy making stuff at her uh kitty kitty creations is what she's called it oh here's kitty mama right now Kitty Creations, is that what your is yeah. that is that what your site's called? Yeah. So Kitty Creations. Kitties. Kitties Creations. If K I could get a link for it, I might throw it out down in the uh, K-I-T-T-I-E-S. Kind of like Kitty Mama Kitties Creations. Anyway, as you can see here, my sunglasses just broke. I'm not happy because I just put them on. Was, was your customer and friend yes. happy? And, and then, then her, um, she got a rescue dog in the summer, and I met him then, and he was so afraid, and he came to the door and he let me, like, pet him. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> He's just little. And then we're taking and their kitty came Emily to right there to uh, a friend's yeah, birthday sure. party. A uh, girl in her class is having a party, so Emily is going to that. And then we're going to be spending some time with Abigail. We're not sure what we're going to be doing. We might have a special treat for her. We might have a special treat. We might go out. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, the cherry blossoms are in full bloom right now. Going on at Spetchelsmith Park. Yeah, the magnolias are all out right now. Which looks, they look kind of like cherry blossoms. But yeah, it's... They're really messy to clean up. Yeah, they... My Auntie Judy had one at her old house. <laughs> So yeah, we're about to, we just dropped off that stuff. We're gonna drop Emily off, and uh, so I'm just gonna go along the service road. Huh? I'm gonna go along the service road. You were gonna drop me off at my dog. <laughs> She's all excited. Anyway, um, we'll connect with you guys after we uh, drop my Emily dog. off. We'll talk to you soon. All right, we are back in the car. We just uh, Kathy's just walking Emily inside. Abigail's got her special Starbucks cake pop treat. What did you have to drink there? Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Uh, Kathy's got her green tea matcha frappuccino. She saw these on a video that she's been watching on a channel she's been watching. So she's got it with that. And I went with the, the s'mores with the frappuccino. Look at that with the graham cracker crumble on it and marshmallow. No. Mm -mm -mm. And then when I was in Starbucks, my sunglasses actually broke. The frame came right out off out of them. So yeah, I'm pretty not happy right now with that because they're really good glasses, and uh, I I like to wear them because my eyes, uh, for some reason I I don't know they help they help with the brightness. Right now it looks like I have bags under my eyes, which kind of look just messed up. Yep, I'm gonna try this out. This is the first time I've actually had one of these because the last time I went. Starbucks I had uh, I think it was just a caramel frappuccino thing because they didn't have these out yet so it's good because now it's like May 2 4 long weekend Victoria Day weekend coming up so and tomorrow I get cake, cake. that's very good tomorrow I'll get cake because we're going to my my, my cousin Sean's birthday it's not tomorrow his, yeah. his, his birthday is tomorrow his parties are not till later I don't know when that is. We don't know when that is, but it's coming up. So, anyway, we're waiting for Kathy to come, and then we're gonna go do some stuff with uh, Me. with Abigail. So, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Talk to you soon. Yeah, I'm with a, a friend here. Does anyone know who this guy is? He grew, grew up in the the eighties and nineties. He had a famous song that never ended. Lamb Trap. Remember this guy? He's a dog toy now. <laughs> we're in Walmart. That's where we are buying some stuff for the cats. And I saw this in the dog section. And yeah, uh, lamb chop. It's a song that never ends. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Oh, what's up, everyone? So we just got out of that quick trip at, uh, at Walmart. And um, we just ordered some, some food. Because Emily's at that party. So she's having dinner. But before, yeah, she'd probably have a pizza or something. 
Um, but anyway, something really bad happened when we were pulling out of uh, at Walmart, and I'll let uh, Kitty Mama here take the take the camera, and uh, she could say what happened. Um, hold on to your uh, your your seat belts because this your one, pants. yeah, what she's about to tell you is pretty crazy. All right. Um, 100% sure this would be the same for Australia, the UK, the United States, and for Canada. It is illegal to put a baby in the front seat of your vehicle. Um, at all. I witnessed, um, a black man put his, I'm guessing, f between four to six month old infant baby girl in her bucket seat in the front seat of his vehicle. I looked over at Jeff and I looked back and I'm just like, okay, I can't not say anything. And I told him, I said, excuse me, sir. And he looked over at me and I said, it is illegal for you to put that baby in the front seat of that car. And he told me, no, it's not. And he just argued with me over it. And I said, no, it is illegal in Canada for you to have that car seat and that baby in the front seat of your car. You didn't strap or anything. Um, if you do put an infant in a car in a bucket seat, if you're not familiar with them, they normally have a base that you can click them into. You can also use the seat belt to secure the babies. Um, there's like a little, like a little channel that the seatbelt can go through. You put it through that, but you're also supposed to put the longest part of the strap around the front of the seat if you are doing that. But this man just continued to buckle the baby in and only had the one across the front of it. And I told him, I said, okay, well, I'm going to take a picture of your license plate and I'm going to call the police. I also took a picture of the baby as proof. And he said, I'm going to F you up. So he threatened to hurt me or whatever. I don't even know what that entails, but needless to say, I took a, took, I took the picture and I said, as soon as I can show this to the authorities, I'm going to delete it. I have no interest in the picture of your baby. This is for the authorities only. Um, so I guess like, I'm totally mind boggled right now. I mean, if you sit in the front seat of the vehicle, there's even that warning thing right above where the passenger sits. Baby, uh, death or serious injury can, can occur. If, um, children. children 12 and under can be killed by the airbag. So imagine a five, four to six month old infant in the front seat. But that baby would be dead. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um... My second pet peeve on this would be when I called the police and I reported this. Sorry, I'm shaking. The officer said, well, we're going to we're gonna send an officer out in the area and see if we can find the driver. And if so, pull the mower, blah, 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 blah. Um, they didn't seem overly concerned about this. They said, yes, the baby could die. Um, but it didn't sound like any license taking or anything else was going to be done and I'm 100% appalled at this when the Children's Aid Services opens on Monday I'm going to be calling them finding an email address and sending a picture of the license plate and the child and the front seat is proof and saying please do something like this this breaks my heart um I'm going to pass you back to Happy Canadian, as you can tell. I'm I'm not happy at all right now. I just, I can't believe someone would put would another child like that. another human being Flesh in harm's way, especially a tiny, innocent baby. Flesh and blood of their child. Oh. And the other fact is the fact that, you know, they, they have a back seat. Why? I don't know. I'm disgusted. So, here's, here's Happy Pappy. Pretty tough, uh, iffy situation, and uh, you know, it'd be interesting to see what. Like, I, I know it's, it's it's something that we don't ever you don't ever see, especially. I've in, never seen. Yeah, that. never ever have I ever seen anything. Especially like in that. a public parking lot with cameras there. Yeah. I mean, there's no way that that's not gonna get caught by someone. Yeah, just a, it's a crazy situation, and it's something that should be shouldn't happen in the first place. So, 
But anyway, that's what happened. Um, hopefully this matter gets taken care of. And uh, this guy gets just a, a, a nice talking to you about, you know. Gets his license taken away. <laughs> that, yeah, that'd be one thing. Uh, but, you know, like, this is your child. This is your flesh. This is your blood. You know, you might want to save it, protect it by putting it in the back seat where it's supposed to be. But uh, we're just about to eat some, uh, some uh, a chicken sandwich here that we got from uh, uh, Mary Brown's. Chicken and taters. It's the big Mary. How is it? Good. Good. All right, we're gonna eat and then pick up uh, pick up Emily because our party should be over soon. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna be going anywhere else. Um, we we'll might head down towards the park and maybe go take a quick walk around before it gets dark to see the cherry blossoms. Um, and then yeah, we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Uh, all right, I am, I am now. Hey, I was recording, but I was not recording. Don't and, do that. Ah, crazy hair right now. Oh my gosh. I think I need to buzz it off. Full summer beard go, everything go. All right, we are back at home. Emily had a fantastic time at the party. She made slime and made a t shirt. She got her face painted. She's got an amazing loot bag, which she shared uh, a water gun with her sister. There was two, so now they can have water gun fights. And uh, we were at a grocery store yesterday, by the I think it was Fortino's. And now in Ontario, you can buy beer in, in the grocery store. And I haven't seen this ever at the LCBO. As you all know, I'm a huge hockey fan. One of my favorite players to ever play the game was Doug Gilmore. He played for the Maple Leafs. He played for the Canadians. He played for the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, he played for the New Jersey Devils, uh, the Chicago Blackhawks. I think that's about it. He might, and uh, the Calgary Flames and the St. Louis Blues. Anyway, uh, the good folks here at the, the White Water Brewing Co. Company have made a beer in his honor. And it's called Gilmore KLR. 93. So it's from the Ottawa Valley, whitewaterbeer.ca. This is a, a Colch style ale, uh, IBU of 26. It even says not hoppy, which is one of the greatest. I, I love not hoppy beers. 4.6 alcohol per volume, 473 can. Locally sourced. Let's see what it says on the back here. Hockey Hall of Fame legend Doug Gilmore and a team at Whitewater Brewing Co. bring you this cold conditioned ale, crisp and balanced with a refreshing finish, crafted with all the hard hitting energy behind the name, nickname Killer. Pretty bad, I have to talk a little bit louder because, you know, that's what happens around here when kids. Uh, the ingredients water, malted barley, hops, yeast. Simple ingredients, simple product, simple beer. I've got it in the cup here beside me. I've let it do its thing. Oh, that's the slime that Emily made. So this is it here. Nice, nice color. Ooh, nice little head at the top there. Give it a taste and try it out. It's nice and cool too. It's been in the fridge. Cheers, everybody. Happy Saturday. Those are all different color sparkles. You pick these ones. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Amazing. Great beer. I love it. Hope you guys are all having a great Saturday. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing uh, for the remainder of the, ne the evening. Um, Kathy has some stuff that she, I think she needs to do. You still have shirts and stuff. And I have one and then I have She's got shirts containers. and lunch containers that she's making and, and she's, just, she's going cra crazy. Abigail, did you bring in your balloon? Oh, you left your balloon in the car. Who got it? I'm not getting it. Oh, your face looks awesome. All right. Dinner was good. We're home. We're having uh, some fun now, doing something. And uh, I'm enjoying this beer. I wanted them to see. Oh, you want to see? You want everyone to see? Okay, come right here. Tell everybody what it is. For those who can't see. What is it again, Em? A crown. It's a crown. It's a princess crown. Very nice. Good job. All right, you guys, we're going to wrap this vlog up tonight. Uh, we might do some stuff tomorrow for Mother's Day. 
Um, thanks so much for hanging out with us. And remember, the important message, if you have kids who are babies, do not put My them in the front seat of your car. Please. We'll talk to you guys later. Be happy, stay happy. Hashtag happy crew. We'll connect with you guys later on. Maybe tomorrow. We're not too sure. Have a good night, everybody. And bye for now. Yeah. Money, look.